Hey everybody, it is Captain Britain here with a kind of a tutorial, very short video, uh, featuring the invade mechanic. I don't believe I've played it on my channel, but I thought, why not? So, before we get into the game, let's go in, have a made invade deck. I'm going to teach y'all how to make an invade deck and everything, and we will go from there. So first off, the best class is guild sworn for invade because that's essentially where all the invade cards are they are in red blue and yellow or strength intelligence and willpower even though intelligence doesn't really play a key part in an invade but so just after you get the guild sworn apprentice just add every single invade card that shows up after you search invade because all of these are really good and if you have premiums you have to click multiple cards but hey you can still get uh, your deck made, even if you have premiums, but you want every single invade card possible in your deck. And so this part is pretty easy and it would be much easier on mobile, uh, but I'm on a PC. So essentially, this is all you need. You just need all of these invade cards. Uh, and then games will go very, very simple. And now here is where you can add your own creativity because since you're running Guild Sworn, you do not fill up the 75 card limit. So you have a couple options. You can hit this done button and then make sure you hit this yes button because this yes means that you are a proud supporter of Invade and that you want this deck to succeed. Alternatively, if you don't want to uh, finish that and you want to physically and manually input the rest of the cards simply go and t type Daedra into the search bar and then add any Daedra that you want there's more than a hundred cards here but uh, I'm just going to kind of click the ones that I think have cool art and maybe the word prophecy on them and uh, go from there because like Kenry Champion love the art Reeve pretty good Zif Zivare Warlord, also I like, but just kind of add definitely Bedivaling Scamp. Bedivaling Scamp is one key player in that, uh, in the in invade decks. Toon Dramora, definitely. Uh, well, you have, there's a lot of options that you can do, but just keep whatever you want. Clan Fear Runt, essential. Great card. You need that. Go initiate, have at it. Uh, Feasting Hunger, why not? I mean, just what a, if you like a particular card's art, like I love Heretic Conjurer, I love, wish I had a premium one, I probably could craft it, but I really don't want to do that. Just go and add whatever card you want and that you like, because that's the important part, is you want to make this something that you personally like, because it's super fun. And, oh wait, I realized I missed a few. You need the Great Sigil Stone. So let's get rid of the Blood Craze Daedra. We will add that. We'll get rid of one Incursion. And as well, go and get these three Oblivion Invasions. And then the final thing that you need to do is you need to come up with a creative name. Now, you can copy my creative name, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. But that is my creative name. You need to come up with some name that you are proud of with this deck. And then... Oh wait, one more thing while we're in the collection menu. You gotta look the part of Invade. You gotta just get it all gathered up. And so you need to have the... That's it, right? Yeah. You need this card back. The Mythic Dawn card back that you get for simply just playing the Jaws of Living expansion. You need that card back. Furthermore, to look the part, you need to come over here. And you have a few titles that you can pick from. You can pick Gate Opener, which is what I'm going to pick because I am a proud supporter of the Jaws of Oblivion. But alternatively, you can, uh, I believe it's Master of Daedra, or maybe it's Master of Oblivion. You can get Master of Oblivion is good, but not everybody has it. Daedric Master, that is another title that you can definitely pick. So pick one of those two, either Gate Opener or that, and then hop onto the ladder and go ahead and get into a match with your very creatively named deck. Mine is super original. I don't think anybody's ever come up with that name for this kind of deck. 
But then, now let's get to kind of the strategy. There's not a whole lot to it. It's very, very simple. And I, this won't take too long to demonstrate and you will get the hang of it very soon. And our opponent, they also have a very creative name with this. So, deleted 1009 tier two. I don't quite get the reference, but now here comes the important part. Whatever you have, it's probably not good because I didn't. None of these have invade. You want something to say invade on it. I know this does say invade, did, but it doesn't say invade. So we are going to get rid of all those, redraw them, and then I believe you need to do this next step three times. I think you need to click your motor, and you're just going to hit taunt and just keep hitting taunt until this little message quits showing up, and just keep 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 doing it. Just keep doing it. Just keep doing it until your opponent your either mutes you and they quit responding or what. But I guess you can only do it twice in a row before it kind of shuts you up for a bit. And then if you have the ring, go ahead and hit that ring. And then two important steps. Go ahead and either push the settings button or hit the escape key. Hit this concede button and hit concede. That way you just take a bow because you are the gate opener for your opponent to rise up in the ranks and proudly pat themselves on the back. So that is step one. Actually, well, that's probably like step two if you count the deck building. But essentially, step one in how to play these invade decks. And make sure that you're in the bottom of the serpent because that is another key part of this. So step two is keep hitting escape or uh, just tap out if you're on mobile. Hit the settings button once again and make sure you hit this exit button and that will make sure that you are in playing the invade mechanic the most proper way so then the th step three if you are on a pc you'll have the bethesda launcher i believe but the bethesda.net launcher you need to come here if you're on mobile just go to your app store whether whether it's the google play store or the apple store whichever one it is and i believe with the google play store will be right next to the open button or mobile uh, app store but for bethesda.net launcher you need to hit this games options button and then come over here and hit this install button and make sure that you confirm the uninstall button and then you will have the best way to play invade in the elder scrolls legends there you guys have it there is the best way to play invade i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you dislike the video please like and subscribe to my channel and please tell me why you like this video in the comments below so thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys next time